You guys got the questions. I got the answers. Let's get started with this video. For you, what was or is the biggest challenge in photography? Well, at first it was trying to understand all the settings and how they work together. But um, right now, I guess the biggest challenge for me is trying to, for me, the biggest challenge right now is trying to market. Hey yo, how often do you shoot? Uh, I often try to shoot every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for these videos. Uh, for photography, I usually just try to go out as much as I can, but because of COVID and other recent events, uh, I just try to figure out some stuff to show you guys on my phone. Hey bro, before you leave, can you tell me what camera you use? The camera that I use right now is the Nikon D850. You can learn more about that in my equipment video right here, or here, I don't know. Excuse me sir, I just got one question. How long does it take to edit your photos? As of right now, um, depending on what I have to do to the photo to edit it, uh, it'll take me about an hour to about five hours just to edit one photo. I know that seems a lot, but that's pretty average. <laughs> I do try to speed things up using presets uh, and stuff like that. You can learn more about presets in my tips video right here. <laughs> Sorry for yelling at you in the last question. What's your favorite place to shoot? When I first lived in uh, PA, uh, my favorite area to shoot was City Island. Basically an island that overlooks Harrisburg City. You know, it's kind of in the name. Um, that was basically my only place I'd like to shoot because it, it was a lot going on, especially if there was like events and stuff like that. Uh, there would always be so much city life going on. But uh, once I moved to Florida, uh, but uh, once I moved to Florida, I started going downtown to Tampa. Uh, my favorite spot in Tampa is the river walk. You walk along the river. <laughs> uh, it's got a beautiful view of like the, the skyscrapers and all of that. Also a lot of uh, events going on. They kind of spiral down once the COVID-19 kind of hit. Uh, but once all of that, shen all, once all of those, uh, once all those shenanigans are over, I'll be going down there and shooting another video, hopefully soon. So, uh, stay tuned. So, the so uh, where'd you, uh, learn your photography skills, bro? The basis of my learning skills in, for photography, uh, started when I was in college, uh, back in 2017. Uh, I took one semester of Photography 101, didn't learn a thing, was pretty much lost for about a year and a half trying to, trying to figure out what I want to do with my photography. Uh, and then a bright idea came to my mind. Uh, I uh, talked to one of my friends and they suggested to learn stuff off of YouTube. Uh, and uh, fast forward three years later and here we are. <laughs> I always learned better uh, uh, doing things myself. Uh, I never accomplished much trying to learn from other people. So whenever I look things up on YouTube, I, I still had people teach me what to do, but most of the time I just went out and I practiced. I had to figure out the difference between, or the, the I had to figure out the relationships between ISO, shutter speed, uh, aperture, all those three things took so long to comprehend and how they work together. But once I got that, once I got through that, I, I was pretty much set. Uh, after that, it was just trying uh, to brush up and to hone in on my like, uh, my composition skills, trying to find uh, 
what best fits in the photo. Editing, editing the photo after taking the picture was another skill set that I had to brush up on. Hey, hey, what's your favorite photo you've ever taken? Favorite photo I've ever taken. So, I, I would want to categorize my favorite photos because there's different things that I like to shoot. I like to shoot cities. I like to shoot photo shoot people. <laughs> and I also like to uh, shoot nature. City-wise, my favorite photo is this nightscape of uh, Harrisburg, right here. Nature-wise is this uh, flamingo picture right here. And people-wise, this photo right here. I like energy in my photos. If, if the photo doesn't have that much energy in it, I, I will scrap it or just try to make it into something else that does have energy. <laughs> um, so whenever a photo speaks to me, it's, it's, it's having that type of energy that makes me love a photo. What is your favorite food? What is my favorite food, you ask? Well, my favorite food, I'm Egyptian. So if you don't know about the food, I suggest going to a Mediterranean restaurant and ordering it yourself because mahshi is what it's called. Mahshi comprises of grape leaves. First of all, what mahshi is, it's basically like, I don't, it's kind of like sushi, all right? So you get a grape leaf, usually concord leaves, and you fill it with rice, ground beef, and I guess whatever veggies you like. The way you prepare it is you take the grape leaf, you put it in your filling, you wrap it up, and you put it in a pressure cooker for about two hours, I think. I don't know. But it's, it's amazing, and I suggest you try it someday. Why did you start YouTube? Alright, so I started YouTube for a couple of reasons. Uh, at first, in the beginning of the year, I wanted to branch out and expand on my camera usage abilities. So, I, I, I pretty much... In Jan okay, so in January when I started video, I I kind of was getting bored with photography and I kind of wanted to do something else. So I picked up the camera and I started playing around with the video settings and I did the New Year's video link right here because of that, in, in light of that, I'll say. Later on, I got so much good feedback from that video, and I, I was like, maybe I should do more. <laughs> and fast forward to today, and I've got 24 videos so far and counting. Reason number two is, while on my journey on YouTube, it occurred to me that there aren't that many creators that have disabilities. Um, there was this comment on a recent video that I create uh, that I made uh, that mentioned this person having a disability and how they're also a photographer trying to get by. Um, and it at that when I read that comment, it, it occurred to me that there weren't too many creators out there that I know of that are disabled. And, it, and it's and it's weird to me because art isn't something that that needs requirements. Does that make sense? Like anyone can do art. It doesn't matter if it's art is subjective. For me, it's like I'm. I know I'm not good as some photographers that I follow like Peter McKinnon. I know how it feels to feel like you can't do much 
But with photography and videography, it, it kind of opened up a gateway that I've been trying to open for a while, if I, if I could say that. So to answer this question, I want to create for the people that are trying to open their gateway. Whether that gateway holds uh, photography, videography, painting, any t anything that the person watching wants to achieve in their life. I want them to be able to realize that they can achieve what they want to. If any, which celebrity would you like to photograph? And it's a simple question to answer. For me, it would be Will Smith. Will Smith has been an inspiration for many, many people for many, many years. Whether you know him from French Prince of Bel-Air, iRobot, any, any of his blockbuster movies. <laughs> he has touched many, many hearts from many, many people across the world. And I look up to this man because he's just a genuine, kind-hearted person that just wants to help. He's just a man that wants to bring a smile to your face and want nothing in return. And as of recently, well, I don't know if recently, but he has become part of the YouTube community, which is awesome. Uh, Will Smith, if you're watching, uh, hi. <laughs> Let's do a photo shoot sometime. <laughs> if you could have one dream job that pertained to photography, what would it be? Um, I always wanted to do car photography, so working for a car dealership would be cool. Uh, one thing that I would, one dream job that would do with photography, I would say, is taking photos for Apple. <laughs> you know how whenever you unlock your iPhone, your iPad, your iBook, or iBook, your MacBook Pro, uh, you always see a really cool screensaver, whether it's a mountain or an ocean. I want to be able to take photos for Apple that look like that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure who the CEO of Apple right now is, but hey, if you're watching, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> if you guys have more questions, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what your question is, and I might do one of these again soon. So my phone may or may not have died before I could end the video. <laughs> uh, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Did you hit it? Did you? I'm waiting for it. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.